This gives me a lot of fat, so I'm half tempted to go ahead and eat it, but I don't know. Let's go ahead Welcome and back to episode 2 of my Green Hill survival playthrough. As with episode 1, this episode is an edited version of the live stream. I stream almost daily on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, so make sure to stop by and check me out if you want to catch these videos live and in their full format. Fats, I'll eat a banana for some carbs. Yeah, oh, we're doing alright. Okay, so we're just waiting on the campfire ash, so we're actually going to let that burn out. Um, then we'll build a roof. <laughs> After breakfast, I started deciding how I wanted to proceed with my base. I wanted to know if I was going to put a door in one area or a wall, and I started thinking about all that and where I could expand my base and build to and experimenting with where it would let me place certain blueprints. After that, I decided to set out and gather the bamboo I would need to build more of my base. She is absolutely going to fit right now. I don't know why. I gave her some raisins and stuff. Something, some food that she hadn't really had before and she liked it. You know what? We're just gonna go ahead and take care of you. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't wanna walk into it since I'm harvesting all my bamboo right here. Working under a land bathed in moonlight, I took the bamboo and started constructing the walls that I would later cover in mud. I also took a moment and listened to the beauty of my bird screeching in the background and took a moment to try to interpret what she was going on about. She, you know what, I don't know if she's not, but sometimes she just gets like really vocal, which makes sense. She is a... For a baby after all, so just like babies mumble and stuff. Uh, I like that right there, yeah. So just like babies will like jabber and stuff like that to, uh, as, as they're learning to make sounds, baby birds do the same thing. So she might just be doing that. She does that periodically. I don't think. Yeah, listening to her now, I'm pretty sure that's the case. She just. I kept working until it was too dark to see, and then decided to turn in for the night. In the morning, my fire had burned out, and I finally, finally, had the campfire ash I needed to turn my mud into mud bricks. From there, I could start coating the walls of my base in mud, adding to the defensibility and just the overall aesthetic. There's the ash. What I've been needing. It just sounds like it's about to rain, so I definitely want to go ahead and get that set up and then I'll just let the rain take care of that. Um, I want to see if I can go ahead and put bamboo wall here. Not Yeah, there was the fire that was in the way. Good. I'm curious if I can break down these. I, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to do it just for science, but I'm going to need enough of those bamboo logs later that I don't really need to break them down because I'll, I will use them. And then it was back to collecting bamboo. And more bamboo. And more bamboo. It didn't rain though, so I decided to use my coconut bowl to manually add water to the mud mixer. For some reason though, it wouldn't work. I had done this before, so I knew it could be done, but I couldn't get it to work now, and I'm not sure why. I assume it was just some sort of bug. After several minutes of trying with different water containers and still having no success, it finally started raining. So I let the rain fill up the mud mixer, and I was soon able to mix that mud into mud bricks, and I could finally start coating the side of my base. I don't know where I dropped my axe. Before I could place the blueprint for the mud roof, I first had to destroy my palm roof. The, 
problem was I seem to have misplaced my axe. I don't know. No idea where I filled it. Fortunately, while grabbing some ash out of my bag to make more mud bricks, I found my axe. I must have put it over my shoulder and into my bag instead of on my belt slot by accident. There, so that I can start making some more. Oh, that's what happened. I just put it over my shoulder. Now that I had some mud, it was time to turn these flimsy stick walls into sturdier mud walls. which is good. I'm gonna have to figure out how to break that. That's a good wall. After realizing I was completely overthinking it, I destroyed my palm roof and placed on the blueprint for the mud roof and then did some tidying up. Did it until it breaks. Look at the spear. That always does the trick. Mud roof. Uh. Okay, so we got that mud roof. The blueprint laid anyway. I want you to take this. Next, I had a snack, I took a bath, and I went back to playing in the mud. I then did some other basic maintenance like cooking food, crafting more needles, and topping up my macros. some needles Two, if you ask me. in order to keep my base organized especially with all the resources I know I would be collecting in the near future I started building different stick holders slash containers as I needed them to start off I started building a long stick holder as I continued building my mud walls my mud brick usage quickly outpaced my ash production, so I decided it was time to build a charcoal furnace. Oh, it put it in place, okay. That's done, so. I need another mud brick. Here. No mud fireplace. Oh, I can. Outstanding. and that fills in that little area right there perfectly. For space efficiency, I decided to build the fireplace Use wall, this. but I was out of mud and, unfortunately, it still wouldn't let me manually add water to the mud mixer. I did get lucky though and it immediately started raining. Decided to use my new kitchen. I lit a fire and made myself a nice, if unneeded, meal of bone broth. Um, so let's go ahead and just drink this. Right there. 
I take one of these bones and just put it in there. Make sure it's not going to disappear. So I'll have something nice and nutritious to uh, eat slash drink. Let's start by getting this. Let's reset this. My furnace was done, so I collected the charcoal and gathered some sticks to start the process all over again. These should add a lot to it, yeah. I'll take this one down. I had a little bit of issues yesterday with it, but nothing bad. Nothing serious. Certainly not like today. But yeah, technically then, due to some technical issues, issues I had to end the stream. I don't know. Thanks I'm for watching, and don't forget to do all the little clicky things below.